everybody. Welcome back to Meals with Marcia. Today I'm going to be making some stuffed jalapenos. I'm excited to show you this, so let's get started. Um, our garden stuff's starting to come in and we're getting tons and tons of jalapenos. To me, it's a little bit early this year for them. They usually don't start really piling in until late, like even August when it gets like really hot and humid, but for whatever reason, they're growing fast. So I wanted to do something with them and I wanted to share a recipe with y'all. So um, what I've done is I have 12 jalapeno peppers and I've cut them in half and I have uh, de-seeded and de-veined them. Now I have one left that I wanted to show you how I do this. And I just take my knife, make sure you have a sharp knife and I cut them in half just like this. And as you can see, you can see the seeds and the veins in there. I usually take my hand and I just kind of start pulling the seeds out. And then I take a spoon and I go in to, to dig the vein out. Now, that's where your spice comes from in a jalapeno. As you can see, all that's gone. That's how I like it. Now, if you like really spicy, just pull a few of those seeds out, leave the veins, and roll with it. But I like spicy, but I don't like something that's going to set me ablaze. My husband does, but not me. So we kind of do, we kind of compromise when it comes to jalapenos. I love the flavor of them, though. They're really, really good. So that's how you do it, guys. You just get it cleaned out. And I've already done that to the other ones, but I wanted to save one just to show you. And this is just my seeds and my veins that I got rid of. And I'm gonna put this over here, out of the way. All right, now, the next thing you're gonna need is a pound of breakfast sausage. I just had a pound of breakfast sausage and I decided that I would just brown it in my skillet. And I'll just brought the skillet right over here. And then I have an eight ounce block of cream cheese softened. So I'm gonna add this to the cream cheese. The skillet is heavy. I'm getting my workout today. Okay, let me move this over to the sink. Oh, goodness. Whew. Glad to have let go of that. And I'm just going to stir this together really good, guys. I've got a few other things to. Um, add to it too, but I like to get my sausage and my cream cheese in there and mash it together. Like I said, my cream cheese is already softened, but that warm sausage kind of helps it even more to, to mix up. And I didn't drain my sausage because there was very little grease in it. So I just left it in the skillet and just, like I said, transferred it over. Okay, let me see here. My dog is hacking today biscuit. He's not been feeling good this week, so he's getting old. He's about 14, 13 or 14, but uh, he's still with us, and we're thankful. He's my son, John Travis's dog, and uh, we prayed that he would live until John Travis graduated high school, and John Travis graduated high school a month ago, so he made it to graduation. I don't know what, what the Lord has planned for him after that, but we're thankful to have him. We love him, but he is getting older, and he's starting to, you know, get a little more cantankerous. All right, so that's what this looks like all mixed up, okay? Now we're going to add one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And I can probably take my gloves out. Well, I don't know. I may just leave them on. I've used gloves every time because those seeds are spicy. And then you get that oil on your hands and you touch your eyes, it burns. And I don't want to have to deal with that today. So I want to, uh, I may just probably leave my gloves on. See if I can get some a one cup of cheese in here. I can't do as well with his gloves on, but I did the best I can. But I'm going to add that. And then I have one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese, any brand you like. Same with the cheese. If you like sharp cheddar or if you like a different brand than just a store brand, I usually just buy whatever's on sale. I'll be honest, y'all. Uh, groceries are expensive. And when you're baking and cooking, you can't really tell a lot of difference in things. And I've said before, the store brands are a lot better nowadays than they used to be. All right, and then you're gonna get one teaspoon of garlic powder. Let me get my teaspoon out. I thought I had it out, I think I put it back up thinking I was finished with it. Okay, I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. Put the lid back on, I don't wanna drop it. And I'm just gonna stir. Stir this up till it's all combined really good. 
This makes 24. I think the mixture probably makes more than that, but I've just cut up 12 today because I don't I don't need any more than that. I guess I could put the mixture in the refrigerator and cut some more up in a few days and make some more if I want. And I don't think I'm gonna bake all these today. I think I'm gonna bake a few to show you guys and share with y'all, but then I'm gonna save the rest so I can cook them for my husband um, this week sometime. Okay, so now I'm going to start filling. So you just take your spoon and you just take it and go down and fill up those little jalapenos. And you don't have, and I would take my finger and kind of pack it in a little bit. Now, as this cooks in the oven, it's probably gonna run out a little bit. So try not to overfill, but that's how you do it, guys. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to do a few of these because I want to share with y'all, but I think I'm going to fill the rest of them and I'm going to save them and cook them later. Let's see here. There's that one. Let's do one more for you. And some of these jalapenos are kind of curved. You just kind of have to go with the way the pepper is. I think that's just a little too much in that one, but just... You know, use your judgment, however full. Like I said, as they bake, sometimes they'll run over a little bit, and that's okay. I mean, they'll be kind of messy, but you'll still enjoy them. All right, let me get, there's a few seeds hanging in that one. I'm going to get that out because I sure don't want those seeds, I'm telling you. Now, they have a kitchen gadget, guys. Uh, I have seen this. I never purchased one, but they have a little kitchen gadget that you can take and go in around into the pepper and pull it out and it pulls the vein and the seeds out. I've never purchased one of those, so I couldn't tell you. But anyway, I'm going to uh, finish filling these and then when I do, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what they look like on the pan and then we're gonna bake them at, let's see, 400 degrees for 20 minutes. But anyway, I'll come back in just a minute when I get them filled and I'll show you what they look like and then we'll get them in the oven, okay? I'll talk to you in a minute. Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay. I have filled eight. I thought I would do eight for you guys. This is what they look like. I'm gonna put these in a 400 degree oven for uh, 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And like I said, I'm gonna fill the rest of them, and I think I'm just gonna put them up in the refrigerator and I'm gonna bake them off later because I want my husband to have some, okay? I'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, now I have baked my uh, stuffed jalapenos for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. And I just took them out. They've been out about, I don't know, three minutes. I'm just kind of letting them sit. And they look amazing, guys. I'm going to try, I think I'm going to pull one onto this plate, one or two onto this plate and let you kind of look. I think that might be the easiest thing. And they didn't run out today. I was so excited. I'm going to get one that has a stem and one that doesn't. And that is what it looks like. And I think I'm going to let that set and cool for just a minute. And I'm going to talk to you about the rest of it. What I did is I took the rest of my jalapenos that I had and I just stuffed them and I put them in this container. So I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and I will cook these, bake these off for my husband maybe tonight or tomorrow for dinner. He'll like that as a snack. Now I want you to see how much of this stuff is left. You could probably stuff at least 12 to 15 more jalapenos. Now depending on the size of them. These were kind of smaller because um, these are from our garden. But the ones you get at the supermarket, sometimes they get a lot bigger than that. We have some that's a little bit bigger, but they're just starting to come in. So um, I'm just going to save this, and as we get some more coming in, actually I have some more over here on the counter. Uh, I'm just going to save this because this will be good for a week uh, in the refrigerator, and I'll just get it out, cut my jalapenos in half, and de-seed them, and I will bake those off for my husband too. And also I want to point out that this is a low carb snack, guys. There's no carbs in this because you got the cream cheese, the cheese, the sausage. And one thing I wanna talk about too is I use hot sausage today. That is what my family likes is hot sausage. I did take the seeds and the veins out, so hopefully it won't be too hot, but I'm gonna taste it for you guys. I'm also, I like to dip mine in ranch. I make homemade ranch dressing. I do have a video on that. You can go back and look at that if you would like. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that on here. For mine and I think I'm gonna take a fork let's see if I can just take a fork and do this cut it oh yeah let's get me a little bit up oh yeah that is so good so much flavor and it's not really that hot at all because like I said no seeds no veins but you do have hot sausage now 
If you just want that flavor of jalapeno, you don't want any spice at all, just use regular sausage. I just always buy the hot because that's what we like. That is delicious, guys. Oh my gosh. You can also smoke these in the smoker. I'm not sure how long you'd have to smoke them. My husband's a smoker around here. I'm not. And if you have an air fryer, you can probably cook them in the air fryer too. Mmm. Those are so good. They have so much flavor. Now, there's several different varieties that you can do with stuffed jalapenos. This is just a more simpler, quicker kind if you want to entertain guests and want to have a little appetizer, you know, before your meal or whatever. This is perfect. Or it would be good to go, like if you say you're grilling steak or having baked potato. This will be a great side to go with it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Meals with Marsha. And also don't forget that every single thing that you're going to need and everything that it, you're going to need and what you need to, how do you need to do the video? I can't even talk today. Every single thing you're going to need and the instructions of how to do this recipe will be in the description. God bless you and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.